activated tackle. This thing is in WHO's list of essential medicines and it's quite easy to understand why. So many uses, you can Google them, but we'll focus on those I personally use it for. And it's quite easy to make. And that's what we're going to do in this video. And then we'll have someone who will come in and, you know, try to see if it's something they can use because it might be nasty. I don't know. We'll just wait and see. You see, really? Mchua. Mchua. Hmm. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what are the uses? Among the so many that I'm sure you've checked, we have those which are closer to medicine, like water filtration, putting in gas mask where you might suspect that you have maybe a gas leak or a poisonous gas. It's very essential. Now, what do I personally use it for? Gut issues. We have bloating, we have vomiting, diarrhea, flatulence, gut issues. This is the first thing I usually use before I think of what's next. A huge disclaimer. This is me. Personally, I don't have anything underlying. You might have, and it might be affected by charcoal. So the best thing would be just go, go see a doctor. This is what I usually do personally, and this is not a recommendation. This is what I usually do. Now, what is activated charcoal and why is it special? Now, normal charcoal, you just burn wood under minimal amount of oxygen. So you try as much as possible to reduce the amount of oxygen going there. And after combustion, whatever charcoal you get there, that's the normal charcoal. Now, on the contrary, the activated charcoal is wood, which is burned under excess amount of oxygen so you create more pores microscopic pores and this is what will help in adsorbing whatever is going to absorb in the gut this is in my reference tackle will never get absorbed into your gut unless there is an issue in your gut so it never gets absorbed so it's going to pull that all through the gut and then it comes out to the other end and your stool is going to be dark dark like black dark However, you can convert the normal charcoal to activated charcoal by just burning it under, you know, a lot of oxygen. I made mine at home, that's in upcountry, because I'm very specific about the tree that I use. I use cypress. It's a soft wood. That means that it will have so many pores, that microscopic pores, that will increase the surface area for absorption. I'm very specific about that tree because that's what I've been using. And we have some toxic trees that will be out there, so I don't want to risk on that. If you know cypress, you can just make one from it. And without so many stories, this is how I prepared this exact batch.
chugs No, I'll start only the first one. It's like what I was saying, guy. It's not the first time, by the way. I'm not going to tell you that I'm not going to tell you that I'm not going to tell you that what I ate. Very bad stuff. Abuzo. Like, um, strawberry, not strawberry. Hmm. You see, Mutua Mutua. Hmm. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, the lamb chow thing is only me. White, you're I wish it had like craft taste. There's no way you can't think. <laughs> yeah, I wish it had like that taste. That mchanga. Hmm. Yum changa taste. I'm like, Is it in a nini? I don't know, 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 how do you know that, I don't know, 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 I don